we're online in uh, nearly 40 states, and we're back online in New York. We obviously had to go offline earlier this year, as a lot of headlines around that. But uh, we passed legislation in New York, passed legislation in Massachusetts, and actually in, in eight other states uh, this year. Uh, so we're, we're, you know, we're online in nearly all the large markets. Is there a template now for regulation? Yeah, each state has taken a different approach. Like some, like New York, is, have, have taken an approach that they really want to regulate it uh, at a detail level. And others, like Virginia and Indiana, have taken a more look. We know this is legal. Let's just clarify. And it's a shorter piece of legislation. So each state's taking a different approach. Has there been a noticeable dent in customers because they fear that they are doing something illegal, even if they're not? There certainly was last year. You know, we had the headlines last year. A lot of people, you know, obviously in the states that exit, you know, they all left. But even outside those states, like suddenly people were like, you know, is this illegal? And so we had a lot of, you know, brand damage last year. And really, what really we've done in the last 12 months is to try and bring those people back and say, hey, look, we're back online. You know, we're, we're addressing some of the issues that people identified. And so that's a process of bringing those people back. You guys spent a ton on marketing. Yes. <laughs> and per perhaps an unsustainable amount. That's What's probably... the future mm -hmm. of spending yeah. to influence the public consciousness yeah. given you, you probably can't keep spending that much? No, no, absolutely. And it was a bit of a reset this year. As I say, like we're on a, on a, you know, on a reset and a rejourney back to uh, rebuilding trust, rebuilding that brand. I'd say last year what it was really was about awareness. We got a lot of awareness <laughs> last year, you, you know that. But what we didn't do a good enough job of was explaining the product and why people played it and all the fun reasons, the camaraderie, the, the trash talk, the people love the research, the live scoring. We really focused on the money. And what we want to do now in the marketing is broaden that out and explain all the reasons why people play. Part of the reason why you spent so much was to shift some of that awareness away from your main rival, yes, DraftKings, yeah. to get yeah. people playing on your platform instead yeah. of theirs. Why not just combine forces? Well, like it's a very competitive market. So uh, I, I think last year, and, and, and true for nearly all startups last year, this was it was all about growth, and everybody was like, "Spend, grow." That's all that people care about. People don't invest, don't care about the bottom line. Um, this year, for every startup, it's like, no, things have changed. And you now need to focus on a path to profitability, getting to profitability. And we made enormous progress this year. Um, and, and so DraftKings have followed a very similar strategy. And so I think what we're seeing is a shift there is a focus of profitability. And also what I think you're seeing in the industry is a shift to cooperation. So last year it was all about everybody for themselves. Whenever October hit, we were like, oh, wait a second, the biggest threat to this industry does not come from each other. It comes from people outside the industry killing the industry. And so we actually, you know, we actually cooperate, uh, particularly in the legislative side, very, very close. So when the head of DraftKings says that a merger remains an interesting idea, mm -hmm. you agree? Uh, you know, we have had discussions for a long time. I can't make any forecast. You know, it's, it's, you know, you always, we're trying to do the same thing. Like, we're trying to make sports more exciting. We're trying to engage sports fans. And so, yes, it's always going to come up if there was, uh, if we, it was better to do that together, then you would do it together. But, you know, even today, we, we cooperate very, very closely where it, where it makes sure. sense. You've, you've had to. We've had to, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.